I definitely think that, um, you know, something that I've learned um, from working with our researcher on this film is that, you know, we didn't choose to have a, you know, there's a little bit of narration at the beginning, that's me, um, but, uh, you know, I think it's like a minute and a half. Uh, so for the rest of the film is narrated by the subjects themselves. And, you know, that was a very conscious decision. We didn't want anyone else to speak about their experience except for themselves. We don't want... Um, there's not really any experts on the Hoff experience yet. I think this um, area of um, mixed race studies is like maybe progressing a lot more in the U.S. and it's just starting in Japan. Um, so there's nobody who's like you know an expert really uh, to speak on it. And we didn't want somebody kind of um, you know speaking from a high place down. And this is what you know this is what they experience, and then you show an example of the experience. Um, so we we chose to we chose to have um, them tell their own stories and, um, you know, really be able to kind of, you know, it's a mix of both interviews and verite, which is kind of just observational filmmaking, where you get to see them um, go through their their day-to-day -day life and experience um, what what it is like to be Hafu. Um, for me, I always said that, you know, I hope for the next 90 minutes, you know, you just walked in the shoes of five hafus and kind of experience what their, their experiences were like. Um, for me, I think uh, I realized in the process of making this that uh, the issues of identity and sense of belonging are very important to me. Um, it's been a part of my whole life. Um, not only am I hafu, I'm also a, what there's a term called third culture kid. Mm -hmm. I've grown up in a number of countries. Um, so I moved every three years of my life. And so um, I think going forth, um, this is my first feature film, and kind of the previous films that I've made um, tended to be for work or jobs related, so people would hire me for a specific, um, you know, to do a specific topic. So maybe not to the same extent that my myself was invested in those um, films. But I think going forth, I definitely want to continue along these lines of this kind of global age that we live in. And, you know, what does it mean to be somewhere in between um, countries and nations? And I think ultimately, you know, where we're, we're going towards is that um, these age-old ideas of, you know, this is Japanese, this is American, this is, you know, you, you're, you're a box of a country or a nationality or a race. These things um, are being challenged. And I think... Um, we're having to maybe really look at and redefine what does it mean to be Japanese, what does it mean to be this such and such race. Um, and that's very exciting to me, and that's what I want to continue to explore. You know, um, yeah, just along the lines that I was saying before, I'm interested, you know, I think looking at more into kind of third culture kids. And um, to me, essentially what I'm, I'm hoping to not just third culture kids, but kind of how that experience compares to people who maybe don't don't live globally, um, don't move so much. And um, for me, a number of years ago, um, you know, I became very interested in the meaning of home and how we construct that and our identity around that. And I worked on a documentary film where I think it takes, uh, took place in Kosovo, and it was about um, this town in Tobiza, uh, where the, the town was divided ethnically, and how people were, you know, their home was on the other side of, of the river, and they longed so much to be back in that, you know, um, that place, um, you know, across the river, but it was, the tension was too high to go back. Um, so I just seen many different examples, or even, you know, I was in Japan during the tsunami and earthquake, and, you know, it's still an ongoing challenge where people are, facing, do I rebuild in the same place? Um, so I'm interested in looking at that kind of how, you know, what is home to us? Um, and looking from a global perspective of somebody who also moved, you know, every three years of their life and home was very flexible idea, so.